present Arneal, a smart chair that provides passive kinesthetic force feedback as a new output method for rotational, tilting, and rolling input. This type of output can restrict a user's motion for novel interactions on the chair. For example, in a seated VR shooting game, when the player is attacked, the seat can become harder to rotate to simulate damage of the vehicle. For hands busy situations, such as playing the guitar, the player can rotate or recline the chair to adjust parameter values of the sound without interrupting playing. The resistant force of the seat and backrest roughly show the parameter values. We modulate the natural resistant force of mechanical joints on an office chair. The resistant force of rotation is modulated through augmenting the shaft of the seat with a disc brake. Natural resistance allows users to rotate the seat freely. With strong resistance, the chair is still rotatable but requires extra effort from users. A lock prevents the chair from being rotated at all. With ramp down, the chair becomes progressively easier to rotate. Click alternates between natural and strong resistance and can repeat when rotating the seat. The tilt tension is controlled by rotating the tension knob of a spring using a gear motor. For minimum tension, the spring is not compressed. The user can initiate tilt easily with the least effort. For low tension, the spring is compressed 30% of its normal length, requiring more effort from a user to initiate tilt. For high tension, the spring is compressed 60% of its normal length. For maximum tension, the spring is compressed to its maximum distance. For ramp down, spring tension decreases with the increasing tilt angle of the backrest. The rolling resistance is modulated through toggling brake handles on the caster wheels using servo motors. For natural resistance, no wheels are locked for this profile. For strong resistance, two randomly selected wheels are locked. The chair requires more effort from the user to roll. For a lock, this profile locks all five wheels. The chair can hardly move by the user. For ramp down, it starts with four locked wheels and gradually decreases the braking force by releasing the wheels until all the wheels are unlocked. For click, it locks and releases three randomly selected wheels for every 60 millimeters the chair is rolled. A user wants to enter the calorie of food while eating. However, using his hands for input will get his phone dirty. He then rotates the chair to a certain degree to enter the calorie value. Click is provided to prevent slipping from a certain range. In a VR first-person action game, the player can steer a jeep by rotating the seat. If the wheels are damaged, the seat becomes difficult to rotate or completely locked in place, as if the mobility of the vehicle is restricted. Increasing the spring tension of the backrest pushes the user's back. This is used to simulate the experience of the player being pushed into the seat during car acceleration. In an office chair racing game, when pushing the chair across a rocky road, the player feels bumpy as the caster wheels present click force. To gain points, the player experiences a ramp down feedback passing through the star. Frequently checking the smartphone is considered inappropriate in many social settings. We utilize the resistance force of the backrest to indicate the remaining time of the next meeting. If there is still plenty of time before the meeting, the backrest is easy to recline. On the contrary, if the user is late to the meeting, the backrest becomes hard to recline. Interacting with a smartphone is still challenging for people with motor impairments. The user can quickly switch between desired apps by rotating the chair. Click is used for distinguishing two adjacent apps to guide the user through navigating the menu. Lightweight tasks, such as checking the weather, can be easily resolved. We tested the recognizability of the force profiles via three controlled user studies with 12 participants. These profiles were evaluated under conditions with or without cognitive load to understand how real-world scenarios would affect the perception of force profiles. The results demonstrated that participants could distinguish between the force profiles with 93.75%, 87.3%, and 93% accuracy for rotation, tilting, and rolling respectively across all conditions. For more information, please read our paper.